Hi church, welcome to this week's update video. This week's update video is on September 30th, which is the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. So I'm wearing my orange shirt. It was so nice last Sunday to be able to come together as a community and enter into this moment, a moment of celebrating our indigenous friends and confessing the wrongs that have been done to them. It's so much better to be doing things in community and I want to say thank you for inspiring me and encouraging me to be the best version of myself that I can be in regards to this topic. Even this morning, Alice Johnson dropped over some rocks that she had painted orange and then had written Every Child Matters on and in community we are stirred to be better and so thank you. All right, let's get into the update video. This Sunday, we are back at the Gibson Center and we're opening it up to everybody. The last few weeks, we have been focusing on getting our volunteers situated on the new way of doing church and the new experience. And we are, we are open, the doors are wide open now. We are excited to have everyone participate in this new way of doing our Sunday morning experience. And we celebrate and lock onto the beauty of being together. How amazing is that? Let's not uh, let's not lose the wonder of that, the excitement of that. So I am I'm thrilled. I'm so excited to be seeing you this Sunday. And remember, if you have not pre-registered, you need to do that. And the cutoff is tonight. So make sure after you watch this video that you go and pre-register so that I can see you on Sunday. You know, during our soft launch, uh, one of the things that I heard uh, repeated by a number of you was, you know, why can't we do singing? Why can't we have musical worship? And I know it is, uh, it is tough. We have been used to a great band, great worship as a way of spiritual formation. And I miss it. I miss playing drums. I miss uh, hearing the voices of people that we know lead us in musical worship. But can I confess something? I'm also kind of excited that we don't have musical worship. And before your, your mouth drops open and you say, what in the world? Here's the reason. I am reading through a book right now talking about this, the spiritually formed life. It's written by Rich Volod Vol 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 Volodis? Volodis. Rich Volodis. There is a stumble. And oh, he shares an, a realization that happened a few years ago at his church. He's a pastor. And in this realization, you know, they were singing songs about being silent in front of, of God and, and all of those different themes. And someone came up to him and sort of critiqued it and said, why do we sing about being silent to God instead of just practicing being silent and centering ourselves on that? And it was a realization for him and for his community that drastically shifted their approach on Sunday mornings because they went from having sort of just the one way of being spiritually formed, which was through musical worship, to inviting a variety of different ways and entering into the rich history of spiritual formation. And what it's done in their church and in his life is it has made them more formed, more holistically formed, where it's not just musical worship that gets them into a moment of experiencing the sacred, but it's in a variety of different ways. And that's what I want for our church. So yes, I, I wish that we could bring in more musical worship and heads up, we are going to be on special events, trying our best to go outside and sing some, some worship songs. But I'm also excited to, as a community, explore a different way of entering into spiritual formation because I think we'll be more well-rounded uh, Jesus followers at the end of this experience. So let's go on a journey together. Let's enter into maybe some different ways of, of you doing spiritual direction, spiritual formation at the beginning through contemplation, centering prayer, and all of those different pieces and watch as God's spirit forms us in the way of Christ. When we look ahead to October 10th, which is Thanksgiving weekend or a Thanksgiving service, we want to bring in some special elements that will help us move us into a posture of gratitude. And one of these elements that we're hoping for, weather permitting, is to incorporate some musical worship. And so the hope is to have some musical worship 
just in the parking lot outside of the Gibson Center for a few moments and then to come on in for sort of our regular scheduled uh, teaching time and then KidMax programs. So that's our hope. Stay tuned to the newsletter for all of the details and we'll certainly let you know if we can't do it because of weather. But we wanted to share that we are excited to be celebrating with you and entering into a spirit of gratitude because in the midst of everything that's going on, we have so much to be grateful for and we want to return that gratitude back to God as the one who gives us good gifts. All right, everyone, that is it for me. Have an amazing rest of the day. I hope that this National Day for Truth and Reconciliation is a meaningful one for you. And so go out, inspire, encourage, be informed, grow in empathy and understanding, walk in the way of Jesus, grace and peace to you.